Amazon has taken over the e-commerce industry by storm. The fact that it only started out as a bookselling store back in 1994 is astonishing. But now, Jeff Bezos is planning on a huge project. His own city. It will probably be one of the most futuristic and sci-fi cities in the world because of all the amenities Bezos will provide. Welcome to Super Rich Daily. Today, we'll be taking a look inside Amazon's city of the future. Let's get into it. Now, the city is still under development and many of these things are in their modification phases. But considering this is Amazon we're talking about, it won't be long till they're ready for public use. The first feature that will be available in the whole city will be Prime Air. Even though it is already available to a selected few countries, Prime Air will be used throughout the whole city. Prime focuses on delivering to customers in just 30 minutes. Yep, half an hour. Amazon already has development centers in the US and UK. Derived from this, the Amazon city will have a flying warehouse which will deliver your orders in 30 minutes on a drone. Now, to clear up the confusion, this warehouse will actually have spinning propellers which will move directly towards the delivery destination. Apparently, this will save a lot of energy compared to ground-based stations. The second feature revolving around the drones will be the use of streetlights as docking stations where they can refuel. These stations will also act like delivery spots and provide the hovering delivery machine with the necessary navigational information so the drones reach their final destination safely. And when the weather gets bad, the drones can even use the docking stations as shelters. Looks like Amazon is keeping global warming in mind. Moving on, we have yet another patented idea that will accommodate the drone delivery program. The previous warehouse centers are located in rural areas away from the main cities, so the drones have to travel a large distance to reach their destination in time. But in the future, Amazon is looking forward to shifting their warehouse and fulfillment centers in areas that are densely populated, all to make deliveries easier. This beehive structure will consist of a multi-story building built vertically, since drones can easily steer where there is less infrastructure traffic. Amazon also intends to update their drones so that each one has multiple rotors and motors in case one stops working. Another thing the Amazon city will feature is pill pack. This feature is already being used in practice, but this city will have a better and enhanced version of it. In 2018, Amazon acquired PillPack for about $750 million. What this segment of Amazon does is that it sorts customers' medications by dose and delivers them right to their doorstep. Moreover, each prescription packet will have the list of medications they have to take at the recommended times. Customers will even receive automatic prescription refills and customer care 24-7. PillPack will organize all the billing and prescription details so that older citizens don't have to worry about any of that. Looks like they're planning to make a big splash in the big pharma industry. And if you thought that Amazon would only be delivering for various things, you'd be very wrong. They're even planning to make dressing up easier for us. For Prime users, this feature is already free. Amazon Prime Wardrobe will let you try clothes on at home before buying them. This means the hassle of buying a size too big or a size too small will be completely eliminated. You will have about a whole week to return all the pieces you didn't want to keep. Just pay for whatever fits you nicely and keep it. You can order up to 8 items at once. Best of all, there's no minimum dollar threshold. This takes online shopping to a whole nother level. Next up, Alexa is almost everywhere, but Amazon plans to make even hotels compatible with it. And that is why they've launched an Alexa system for hotels called Alexa for Hospitality. The voice assistant will be compatible with everything from chain hotels to vacation rentals. The system will be customized to include everything from key guest information such as checkout time to pool hours. It will also allow guests to request services like housekeeping or room service. These smart hotel rooms will have adjustable thermostats and even automatic curtains all connected to beloved Alexa. The feature will also work for Echo devices that have been installed in guest rooms. With Echo, guests will be able to navigate their way through the hotel with Alexa. They'll be able to ask where the fitness center is or when the pool will be open. The answers to all of these little questions will be conveyed to them through Alexa. Echo will partially replace in-room telephones, where even kids can call their parents through it. Just imagine summoning a drink through Alexa and getting one right in your hand the next minute. Now that is what the future will look like. Other than hotels, the future Amazon city will have houses with inbuilt Alexa medications. The company unveiled their turnkey program that links house buyers to real estate agents. This program will provide incentives in the form of Amazon products and home services worth up to $5,000. Since this partnership is with Rheology, they will pay Amazon a form of commission with each house sold. All home buyers need to do is sign up for the turnkey program on Amazon's website and they'll be partnered with agents in a few minutes. The program guarantees to close a deal 15% quicker. 
It's only obvious that Amazon will never venture into real-life shopping since they are already the leading company when it comes to cyber shopping. Not really. This is where Amazon Go comes into play. These stores will be everywhere in the Amazon city, but for now there is only one and it's the first of its kind. Amazon Go requires no checkout. Customers will simply enter the store, use the Amazon Go app to browse their products and then just leave. But how does this even work? Amazon developed a special technology for this called the Just Walk Out shopping experience. It's the same tech used in computer vision, sensor fusion and deep learning algorithms. Basically, when you walk out, the sensors will detect which products you've taken and will keep a track of them in a virtual cart. Once you leave the store, Amazon will send you a receipt and charge you to your Amazon account. That's how simple it'll be. But if there are Amazon houses, hotels and grocery stores, how is it possible that the cars won't be Amazon as well? The company is leaving no opportunity unused, and that's why they've already developed an all-electric delivery van. The vehicle has a state-of-the-art technology as you can expect, with sensing equipment and an advanced driver assist system. It will have a digital display inside the cabin that will give the driver a full 360-degree view. Now, that feature isn't new, but the Alexa Assistant will be a very modern one. It will provide for a completely hands-free navigation experience. Everything Amazon is built on is online or connected to the cloud, and it's only fair for Amazon to venture into their own version of Wi-Fi. Introducing Amazon Sidewalk. This shared network will help all Amazon Echo devices, ring security cams, outdoor lights, and even motion sensors beyond your front door to be controlled by one program. This sort of Wi-Fi will create a low bandwidth network with the help of sidewalk bridges. It'll use a small part of your internet bandwidth and when several neighborhoods are pulled together, the network will become stronger. How cool is that? Seems Bezos always has his thinking hat on and now we know why. With so many facilities, amenities and features, a lot of cities are competing to become the first ever Amazon Future City. After all, the chosen city will get 50,000 high-paying jobs and an initial $5 billion investment by Amazon for a very serious makeover. The city will need to have high educated labor with a strong university system so that there are enough highly qualified candidates for their jobs. Two more requirements are that the city needs to have visible travel routes so that the population is well linked and even daily flights to Seattle, New York and Francisco. And let's not forget the critical criteria for connectivity. Amazon would need optimal fiber connectivity in the city's heart. Obviously, everything will be online and on screens, so there needs to be cellular phone coverage everywhere. For now, 20 cities are already shortlisted and are battling to prove their worth of being the first Amazon city. After all, who doesn't want to be part of the world's most entrepreneurial tech center? That's a wrap for Amazon's city of the future. What are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for videos like this. See you in the next one.